Hey what's up guys it's Banu here from Android.com If you own a brand new Samsung Galaxy device like the Galaxy S10 Plus or any of the other Galaxy S10 devices or any other previous Galaxy device like the Note 9 Note 8, S9 or any other device like that. In this video, let me show you how you can diagnose your device and identify if something is wrong. Let's say you uh, find that the touch sensitivity on the display is not so great. So you think something is actually wrong. Samsung has actually bundled in a utility tool onto all their Galaxy devices so you can diagnose it yourself before you take it into repair so let me show you how you can do that but before that if you are new to my channel go ahead smash that subscribe button right now and definitely go ahead and check out my other galaxy s10 videos in the channel as well now let's get started Alright, so in order to get started, the first thing you need to do is you need to actually go ahead into the dialer and punch in this code. You need to type star hash zero star hash. So once you do that, this new utility mode will open up and this has all sorts of settings. So first off, it has an option where you can check your RGB. So the reds, the greens and the blues. And then you can check the quality of the receiver like so you can hear the receiver sound so if something's wrong with the receiver then at that point it won't actually make a sound then you can check the vibration I hope you guys can hear that and then we can check the mega cam which is the rear camera you can even take a picture and test it out Next up we have the sensors, so you can see all the sensor information on this device and there are various uh, tests that you can run. For an example, you can run a barometer self test to see if it's still working or not or you can uh, even do some other tests such as the fingerprint test, so you can do a normal scan and now it's running the scan and it will let you know whether everything is okay. And as you see right now, it's a pass. So you can exit this and uh, play around with it based on what type of issue you're having. Next up, we have the important thing that's the touch. So this is how you can test if your touch sensitivity is good. So all you have to do is just go ahead and draw over this. So you just have to make sure all these boxes are turning green. So according to samsung if all of these turn green that means your touch sensitivity is fine so as you see right now the display seems to be working fine next up we have the speakers so let's test that out now as you can see uh, you can test out the speaker in uh, all three formats the first format was in stereo mode the second format was the rear speaker and the third format was just the uh, top uh, earpiece speaker which will be used for stereo so you can uh, test it out individually and that's great next up we have the sub key and you can check it out over here and then we have the front camera and you can test out whether the front camera is working fine seems to be all good next up we have the grip sensor so you can release and as you can see grip sensor is working next up we have the sensor hub test and you can hit on that and the device will get locked and you can go ahead and unlock your device and it will say if it's a fail or a pass for all the sensors Next up we have the blacks, so you can see if the display is all black if there are any dead pixels here. 
same um, like uh, we saw previously with the reds the greens and the blues those in those screens also you can identify if there are any dead pixels on your display next we have the hall ic test and after that we have the mst test with all sorts of sample data and then we have the mlc so you can reset that and finally we have the loopback so here you can check out the speaker using the secondary microphone using the dual microphone for an example as you guys can see uh, you can hear myself uh, from the speaker on the device and finally you can stop that well guys that's about it for the self-diagnosing test on the samsung galaxy s10 you can use this on other galaxy devices as well so definitely go ahead and give it a shot this will definitely come in handy if you're having any sort of issues on your device well that being said if you think this video was useful definitely go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe right now for more awesome tech videos just like this in the future and definitely stay tuned to andrewdaw.com for all the latest from the tech world and until i see you guys in my next video this is banu signing